Coming to the first problem, form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions graphically. The first bit given is 10 students of 10th class took part in a mathematics quiz. If the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys, find the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz. Let us see the solution. So in this problem, we need to find the number of boys and number of girls. So let us assume number of girls is equal to x and number of boys is equal to y. According to the given problem, there are 10 students in the 10th class who took part in mathematics quiz. So we can add girls and boys to get the total number of students. So the total number of girls is x and number of boys is y. So when we add the number of girls and number of boys, we get the total number of students which is nothing but 10. So this is one linear equation which is x plus y is equal to 10. I assume this as equation number 1. Again according to the second condition which is nothing but the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys. That means if suppose x is the number of girls and y is the number of boys so x minus y is nothing but 4 this is because the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys so we can say x minus y is equal to 4 this is the second equation so one part of the question is completed which is nothing but we have found the pair of linear equations which those are x plus y is equal to 10 and x minus y is equal to 4 now we have to solve these linear equations graphically in order to find the values of x and y. Now the first linear equation is x plus y is equal to 10. So if x is equal to 0 then 0 plus y is equal to 10 which is nothing but y is equal to 10. So this is condition number 1 and if y is equal to 0 that implies x plus 0 is equal to 10 which is nothing but x is equal to 10. So if y is 0 we got x as 10 again if I take x is equal to 3. If x is 3, we get 3 plus y is equal to 10. That implies y is equal to 10 minus 3. So y is 7. So let us tabulate the found values in this tabular form. So I write here x and y. So initially when x is 0, y value is 10. So x is 0, y is 10. Now if y is 0, x is 10. Again, if x is 3, we got the value of y as 7. In the similar manner, let us uh, tabulate the values of the second equation also. Now, so I assume the value of x as when x is equal to 7. That is, we, the equation becomes 7 minus y is equal to 4 which is nothing but minus y is equal to 4 minus 7 which is minus 3. So we got y is equal to 3. Now again when y is equal to 0 we get x minus 0 is equal to 4 which implies x is equal to 4. So when y is 0 the value of x is 4. Again when x is equal to 6 that is 6 minus y is equal to 4 minus y is equal to 4 minus 6 which is nothing but minus 2 which gives the value of y as 2. So when x is equal to 6 y is equal to 2. So let us tabulate the found values in the tabular form. So when x is 7 value of y is 3 and when y is equal to 0 x value is 4. Again when x is 6 the value of y is found as by using these tabular forms, 
we will plot a graph and thus find the values of x and y. Now let us take the first equation which is x plus y is equal to 10. The co coordinates are 0 comma 10, 10 comma 0 and 3 comma 7. So let us plot this point in this graph. So the first point is 0 comma 10 which is nothing but this one. This is 0 comma 10. So this is 9 and this one will be 10. The second point is 10 comma 0. 10 comma 0 is this point. And the third point is 3 comma 7. So this is 3 and this will be 7. Now we must join these three points in order to get the straight line x plus y is equal to 10. So the black points corresponds to the line x plus y is equal to 10. Now the second line is x minus y is equal to 4. The points are 7 comma 3, 4 comma 0 and 6 comma 2. We will plot these points in the graph. So the point is 7 comma 3. On x axis we have 7 and on y axis we have 3. So the point is this one 7 comma 3. Other point is 4 comma 0. This is 4 and on y axis we have 0 so the point becomes 4 comma 0. The third point is 6 comma 2. 6 is on the x axis and on y axis we have 2. So this is 6 comma 2. We must plot these blue points in order to get the straight line x minus y is equal to 4. So after joining the straight lines, we, go, we got the straight lines here. So this point is 0 comma 10 and uh, this one is 3 comma 7 and this point is 10 comma 0. So for, for this straight line, this point is 4 comma 0, this is 6 comma 2 and this one is 7 comma 3. So this is the straight line x minus y is equal to 4 and this one is the straight line x plus y is equal to 10. If we observe both of these straight lines meet at a common point which is 7 comma 3. So the point of intersection of the straight lines x plus y is equal to 10 and x minus y is equal to 4 is 7 comma 3. So now we can say that the value of x is 7 and the value of y is equal to 3. x is nothing but the number of girls and y is nothing but the number of boys. So by graphically we found out the values of x as 7 and y as 3. Therefore from the graph Since the point of intersection is 7 comma 3, this corresponds to x and this is y. The number of girls is equal to x which is nothing but 7 and the number of boys is y which is nothing but 3.